How's it going? Nick Weiss here, and I'm going to do a quick video on how to install Dunlop strap locks. So in the package, there will be two sets of six pieces, and the first thing you can take care of is the strap button portion. This piece goes in, the screw goes inside this strap button piece, and you then screw that into your guitar. Easy enough, right? Well, the problem with these is these screw heads are very narrow on here, so you need a narrow number two screwdriver, which um, number two is actually kind of a heavier head, so there aren't many narrow ones, except for this brand, which is a bit that I use in this little electric screwdriver, which is another very handy tool, Milwaukee. Milwaukee brand bits are thin enough to fit inside those heads. If you find, you know, if you have a, a manual screwdriver and that's uh, thin enough with a heavy enough uh, Phillips head on it to, to fit in there, well, more power to you. Have fun uh, twisting your arm to your heart's content. Um, but this is an awesome little tool to have. These little 12 volt screwdrivers, electric screwdrivers, are cheap and they spin at a slower rate than drills, so you don't have to worry about. I think you still got to be careful, but not as careful as you would with a drill as far as screwing these in. You don't want to over-tighten it and strip out the wood or mess with the screw. So, I've already done that on this guitar. The other, you know, hint is to put a little soap on the threads of the screw before you put it in there. Oh, well, a, a pilot hole should be drilled in the guitar, too, first, but most already have them done. If they're not deep enough, if the screw length isn't about the same, or the width, uh, the screw length and width isn't about the same on the strap locks you're installing to the ones that you took out, well, screw it out to about the, drill it out to about the width of the shaft of the screw. You lubricate the screw threads with some soap, I highly recommend uh, cranberry scented boutique soap like this because if you just use ivory or Irish spring, you're just going to really mess up your guitar. Of course, I'm joking. Use whatever soap you have around. Use candle wax, whatever. Um, lubricate the threads. Screw it in there. That part's pretty explanatory. This part isn't. <laughs> um, this goes, these four pieces go into the uh, connecting end of the strap. This is the push button. It goes through this odd shaped washer here, and this goes through the facing part of the strap. Through to the other side. It's kind of tough to push that push button piece through the leather sometimes, but if you work at it long enough, you can get it through there. And then, put this washer over that. And this locking ring gave me a lot of trouble until I figured out something you could do very easily with it. This locking ring goes through a ridge on the push button piece and locks it into place. It's kind of tough to do by your hands, but I did, the, I did it by hand for a long time until I realized you could take needle nose pliers, grab one end of the locking ring, the, the closed end of the locking ring, and the other end of the push button piece and push it right on. Nice and easy. If you need to get it off for whatever reason, there are these little divots, little holes in the locking ring portion. Put one end in of the needle nose pliers into that little divot. Pull it out. Easy enough. And I've got some of these that I've had on straps for 20 years, so. And there you go. That pops right into that, and there you go. I much prefer these over shallower 
um, and any other brand I've tried. Uh, the Shallers have a screw-on piece. Actually worked its way off of a strap once at a gig many moons ago and dropped my bass. Never going to make that mistake again. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I'm sure people have horror stories about these Dunlops too. But uh, I like them. I use them. Hope that was informative. Thanks for watching. I'm Nick Weiss.